Singapore is studying carefully when to increase its goods and services tax rate. Deputy Prime Minister Heng Sui Kiet says this will depend on how fast the economy recovers, its future revenue, and how much spending can be deferred without sacrificing long-term needs. Still, he adds the hike cannot be postponed indefinitely, since it's only responsible that each generation pays for its needs through taxes such as the GST. Mr Heng was rounding up the debate in Parliament today on an earlier ministerial statement that outlined strategies to emerge stronger from the COVID-19 crisis. The planned GST hike from 7% to 9% was initially to take place sometime between 2021 and 2025. But Mr Heng had said earlier this year, this won't happen next year because of the crisis. So far, the country has committed close to $100 billion on relief packages, with a draw of $52 billion on national reserves. And Mr Heng adds that he's prepared to propose an even further draw on reserves if necessary. In the medium to longer term, our approach is to adapt and find new ways to generate growth. We must work hard to get ourselves back in a position where our economy is growing and we can build reserves for the future again. This is a sustainable and prudent way forward. So I'm sure that we all want Singapore to be here for the long haul. As long as Singapore continues to exist, the question is not whether there will be an externally induced crisis, but when. If we spend more and even all the returns from our reserves annually, future generations will likely have a smaller buffer in a world of greater uncertainty. We must therefore ensure that we continue to spend within our means and hand over to our children more than what we have inherited from our previous generations.